that's something that we work on all week. I mean, easily two, three times of practice individually, maybe a little bit after. But that's something coach just stressed the pad, that's the pad down, but that's why I'm hard. In terms of the other back line, obviously Marlon is out here. Talk about the opportunity for them, kind of, you know, if somebody's not there, there's a chance for somebody else to step up and make some plays. Always. I mean, it, it's a competition. And at the end of the day, they're going to play the best player. Then. If it's, you know, if you're out here beating the guy by default, just pure talent, just understanding, I mean, you're going to get the reps of whatever you do with it, what you do with it, but just make the most of it. Ray Sean, where do you feel like this running game is? It seems like there's an extra burden maybe on you if Marlon haven't been out and then Tom Smith been missing some time to, to kind of to be the guy there. I mean, do you feel like there's an extra burden there that maybe there has been in the past? No, I, I don't feel that just because we have a new staff. They don't know me. I know the blade of grass out here. So it's, it's kind of almost giving me an opportunity to kind of show the coaches that you know, I can handle it, I can take my slow, I can be your workhorse and your leader. At the same. So it's not really a burden. I'm going to hold it down until my guys come back. But, is that as a running back what you want? You want to be the work, the workhorse kind of guy? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, man. You, you, you want to be able to when things going wrong, just throw it on the back and let's go. Have a big man up front, you know, moving things out of the way and let's go. Get it. What steps do you feel like you guys have been able to take through the last couple of days in this stretch? Oh man, probably just our run fits, steps, uh, our ball security, pad leverage. Coach, Coach Gillespie stays on us about all those those little things, but believe it or not, those are the things that show up throughout the scrimmages in our situation in the in practice, so it, it, it really is. And for you, you had a couple big catches today. Uh, I mean, that's always been something you've been good at coming out of the catch ball. Just how important is that that you continue to build on that? I mean, you think you scored two touchdowns on the time catch uh, Honestly, I just want to – I really want to do anything I can to start to help this team, but that's catching the ball out the backfield, running it. I really want to show everybody that I can be diverse and be what you need me to be. At the end of the day, that's what we, we all want. Last week, yeah. coach is very complimentary of the defense and, and them winning the scrimmage. Was there something as an offense today you guys said we're going to get this one? Yeah, definitely, because uh, we, we, we had a long week letting the defense do what they did to us as far as film. Uh, every practice kind of almost reminded us of how they did us. So, yeah, we came out here with a little extra bite, and some things kind of just went our way as far as the situation. When you know you only have a week left to practice, is there a panic of how much we want to be able to get in before the time's out? Uh, a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you a little bit. Uh, definitely saying that this is my last year. Uh, it's, it's came and gone, man. It's scary how fast it went, but, you know, I just got to just stay with it. I got the whole summer. I got all the fall, so. I just got to get it in this short period of time. What have you seen from the quarterbacks? Coach was kind of critical again of their game management and being smart towards the end. They're young. I mean, time and experience is going to help everybody. And I believe it's, you know, as time goes on, man, they're they, they going to get it all together. Man, they're smart guys. So once they start feeling comfortable and start trusting everything around them, it'll, it'll come to them like second nature. Thanks, Ray John.